burning himself while praying <laughs> over fajitas. Oh. I thought prayer was supposed to save you from fire. God's like, I didn't fucking make that. <laughs> Proving once for all, God, obviously a Chili's man. <laughs> it's like, I get the ribs every time. All hell Satan. There you go. <laughs> you know, it's funny because uh, Christians don't normally uh, tip after a meal, but this guy left 10% of his forehead. <laughs> I, really, I hope his face burn off. Number one, because um, he, well, fucking, he's at Applebee's. Number two... <laughs> Because his last name is Jimenez, but then you eating at Applebee's for he does What the fuck? Are you kidding me? Y'all hope your whole face burn off. They say the shit fell back into his crack. I hope your dick fell off too. And we don't get any money for being a dumbass that eats at Applebee's. Yeah. What what is he is he's praying to get out of hell. What do you think eating at Applebee's is? <laughs> I got, I got one more pun for this. They thought he ordered the skillet face out. <laughs> <laughs> Baboom! A 24 year old Chinese girl was locked in a shed for six years because her parents didn't approve of her boyfriend. The parents said they locked her up because she was mentally ill. Too bad they weren't Jason Rayford's parents. <laughs> When I think that picture, it looks like someone pulled that shit from like America's Top Model. Who right. like, the fuck is sitting there taking glamour shots of this bitch laying in shit on straw with a Gatorade bottle next to her? And it's just like, oh my god, you look so fierce, but you are cut. You will yeah. not be America's no. next Top Model. That on a shed, it can hold someone for six years. <laughs> Well, what's, what's crazier is that they just had the uh, the doors boarded up and the windows with pieces of wood. Isn't she Asian? Can't she just type Wando through? <laughs> and isn't it made in China, too? So she should be yeah, able to put that shit down really quick. She's a, she's when I first saw this story, I thought it was like way too dark for us to talk about here on this panel. But then they opened up the door and there's like plenty of lights. So. <laughs> <laughs> Warns against intentional measles exposures come on people anti-vaccine parents are intentionally exposing their children to measles which could worsen the outbreak in the past vaccine wary parents had traded chicken pox laced lollipops by the mail to help build children's immunity through exposure to the virus now people are having measles parties at Disneyland in California to build immunity. I guess it really is a smallpox world after all. <laughs> well, on that note, I'm glad that the song, It's a Small World After All, isn't the most infectious thing at Disneyland. <laughs> if, if my kid's going to a, a party and sucking on something and get a virus, I'm glad it's a smallpox. <laughs> Lollipop, he means. Measles, whatever. It bothers me that people are so they're more afraid of autism than measles. They're like, let's not vaccinate, you'll get autism. But like, you could also die. <laughs> you could die. We should invite Jason Ripper to one of those measles parties. <laughs> hope he gets it. He'd misread the and think it said missile party. <laughs> The Chicago Police Department has a black site where they interrogate people and deny them their basic constitutional rights. Very similar to black ops in the military. While here, prisoners get beat, they can't talk to anyone for 12 to 24 hours, and they are shackled for prolonged periods of time. A black site? Sounds more like a Fifty Shades of Grey site to me. <laughs> it's still the safest place in Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> Much rather be there than in the streets, I'll tell you that much. United Kingdom Krispy Kreme dropped the ball this month with some unintentional racism. <laughs> Allegedly. <clears throat> when they introduced the Krispy cream club Wednesdays but that's not how they introduced it they introduced it with KKK Wednesdays they said they had no idea it was a racial term they apologized and replaced it immediately with swastika Saturdays <laughs> DC's Catwoman comes out as bisexual 
Yeah. <laughs> After 75. What the fuck? Y'all like it's an achievement. It's a cartoon character. I like it. I started it, sorry. <laughs> After 75 years, Selena Kyle finally comes out of the closet. Taking into consideration the fact that she now has to be around 95 years old, I'm guessing if she's stepping out of the closet and into the casket. <laughs> um, I will say this, now that she is coming out of the closet, we can confirm that she's definitely going to get more pussy than people who still read comic books. <laughs> <laughs> That's damn show. I, let me stick up for nerds real quick, because in, in my head when I was young and read comic books about superhero women or whatever, they were all bisexual to me. Like, my imagination always had Catwoman fisting Wonder Woman in an invisible plane while Superman cried below. <laughs> Pimp My Ride was just one big lie. Oh, gasps. Engines were neglected, cars became less drivable, and accessories were removed when cameras were turned off. I'm guessing this came out on a slow news day. <laughs> you got your car painted, people. Be happy. I just wish they'd be glad that they weren't on Swan, got all those surgeries, and then died two weeks later. <laughs> <laughs> those cars only were like a week later after the show went off, which means they worked longer than Exhibit did after the show went off. <laughs> See a dude in all pink driving a pink cat like that nigga sell Mary Kay. <laughs> A brief history of the GOP war on yoga and its pants. There is a state representative in Montana that is seeking to strengthen indecent exposure laws. He wants a no nipple policy for women and men. This is great for me since I just started my Manly Pasties online store. Check it out. He's also looking to outlaw tight-fitting clothes, including yoga pants. This is not Christianity's first attack on yoga. But don't worry, there's a Christian alternative to yoga. It is called Praise Moves. It looks just like yoga, but way douchier. I'm, I'm mostly just worried if this happens, I'll get arrested wearing my regular slacks. <laughs>